What's up, YouTube? Nah, it didn't work, did it? Just not me. So, the question on everyone's mind, not everybody, but a lot of people, and I'm hearing it all the times on forums and I've pretty much had enough, is Pentax dead? What are Pentax doing? Are they crazy? Why aren't they out of there in the market? Why aren't they competing against Nikon, Canon, Sony? Look, it's Pentax, okay? These guys have been around forever, like a lot of other brands have, but they've been taken over by a company that truly believe in Pentax, Pentax Vision. We all know the Vision, we've all seen that when the new K3 Mark III came out. We know what direction the brand is running in. And to be honest, most of you Pentaxians out there are using Pentax because of that. Now, I know we don't have a mirrorless camera. Pentax have a new Vision and I understand exactly why. And I'm gonna tell you why they're not dead, okay? They're moving forward. Number one, why? Okay. Since they bought out the K1 Mark I, the K1 Mark III, we're talking four and a half years ago now. Since then, they've bought out the K3 Mark III. Okay, so I want you to understand one thing. This is a brilliant camera. I don't care what people say. It doesn't have a swivel screen at the back. They couldn't put it in there. It's a compact camera. It's got a huge prism on it, a brand new prism, an awesome prism viewfinder in there. It was impossible to stick it in there. Hang on, got the wrong camera. Where is it? Sorry, this one here, the K3. They couldn't fit one on there, okay? I don't understand what the big issue is. Okay, a lot of people want it as a landscape camera. It's a great landscape camera. It doesn't have the swivel LCD screen at the back. It is a little bit of a problem, and I see it's a little bit of a problem, but I'm not going in, into details about that. I'm going to tell you why Pentax is in debt, so I'm going to get back to it. The K3 Mark III, I've got these cameras, I can't tell what's going on. The K3 Mark III, which is... This the K3 Mark III? Yeah. The K3 Mark III, which is here. This shows you Pentax roadmap. When they bought out the K3, they put so much awesome technology into that camera. Uh, I won't go into the details of what they are, but then, bang, not that long after the K1 Mark I came out, it had all the technology that was in the K3 Mark I, they put it into the K1, made the K1 bigger, made it a full frame, put extra things on it, like this at the back, um, many, many other features. So it's showing you that they're moving forward, they're going to bring out another full frame soon, and I think they're going to bring out a full frame that's got all the technology, it's in the K3 Mark III and more into a full frame and that is going to be amazing. And another thing, okay, lenses. Before the K1 came out, DFA lenses were coming out of the market. The 70 to 200, the 15 to 30, the 24 to 70. We've now got a bigger variety of lenses pushing out on the market. We've got these primes coming out. We've actually got new zooms for the APS-C for the K3 Mark III coming out too. So it's showing you they're building up for a new camera body, a new camera body, a new full frame camera body that is gonna be beautiful. So there's gonna be options for everyone. Okay, so we've got the new uh, DA Star 16 to 50, which is a brilliant lens. There's great reviews on that. Mike Muzelbelt did a review on it. He raves by it, it's an excellent lens. Full frame lenses, we've got the 85 that's come out, which is an awesome, awesome lens. So many people talk about how brilliant that is. The 21 Limited. Now that's about to come out. The 21 Limited DFA full frame lens. This is gonna be an amazing lens. And this is showing you that Pentax is preparing for a new full frame body. They don't just bring out full frame lenses if they're not gonna bring out a new camera body, are they? So guys, Pentax isn't dead, all right? Be patient. This camera brand is an amazing camera brand that won't let you down. There's so many reasons why we have these camera bodies. The K3 Mark III came out and showed the market that the autofocus in Pentax can work. And it's gonna be in the new 
full frame body just because they're not competing against other camera brands in the high percentage of the market doesn't mean that it's a dead brand okay Rico own this company it's almost like they're treating it like it's their hobby they're passionate about what Pentax are and the future of the brand and they don't want to ruin it by pushing something out on the market massive amounts of cameras and failing they're making sure they're doing the things correctly and slowly and making sure we have the best damn optics on the market these lenses are incredible these DFA lenses are sensational this 15 to 30 I will swear by still today is the best landscape lens on the market the optics into these things they take time to build you don't just push them out on the market straight away there's reasons why things are done the way they are be patient because there will be some new cameras coming out and new lenses very soon and nobody told me that I'm just presuming it but this is how the roadmap works this is how Pentax works so Pentax is not dead oh yeah I almost forgot if you want to hear more content from me talking about Pentax or anything photography related please make sure that you subscribe to my channel share this video and even go and check out my latest videos from my on-field experience. I'd appreciate your support.